Dylan. What's going on, guys? My name's Sean. Jose's back over there. And today, we're working on a Nissan Cube. There you go. Maybe. lever in that it's like all so gross okay guys so this is a 2011 Nissan cube with 130,000 miles has a manual transmission and this is the front end damage we'll probably need headlight top radiator support um, potentially AC condenser radiator front bumper cover and another little accessories and stuff. But the hood looks good, fenders look good. Fenders don't look good. <laughs> the hood's bent too? Oh, barely right there. All right here? No. Yep, complete folded. Jose's correcting me. None of this is good. No bueno. Not for an end. <laughs> yeah. It needs everything, I guess. Headlights. It's got a nasty tan gray cloth interior. Seriously, like driving this thing over here, I don't know why the stick is sticky, but the like shift lever is disgusting. But in other news, I'm gonna sell some fresh handmade cosmetics today. Part of my new company, Lush. Besides the front end damage, the rest of it looks good. Uh, at least the exterior looks good. Interior needs a just complete detail. Water, coolant. But these things that, so I think that people hate the cube because it just looks so weird. Um, like this glass on this side, wrap around glass but then on that side it's got the metal pillar right there but for those of you who have never seen the in the headliner on a cube check this out okay so check this out it's it's completely rippled like that's not just a look that's the headliner is molded to have ripples in it So whoever owned this in the past, they cut the OEM harness to put this aftermarket horn in here. I guess they didn't like the sound of the OEM horn, but they did a pretty crappy job. Jose found the, you know, the original horn. They like bolted it. Radiator is good, still has coolant in it. AC system, no Freon at all. So the AC condenser has to have a puncture in it somewhere. But you can see from the top, like it's just completely bent.
update. The only two pieces that we need are the center that piece right there, and then this top piece, which is just held on there with some spot welds, like 10 of them, but yeah, that and this, and then the rest will just line up. Hi, maybe transfer the parts, please. Just calling Nissan to order those two parts. Okay, um, right fender. All right, um, and then I need, do you carry uh, AC condensers? Yep, that's fine, that's fine. All right, parts are on order, they're coming out of LA, but that's about all I wanted to do, disassemble it, see what it needed. Um, now I just gotta order the headlights, body panels, and be good to go. Yep, sure. Parts for the monster. You're good. Oh. Make sure that receipt doesn't blow away. I always open the parts when I get them because check for dents or rust because all this stuff comes from China so sometimes it got scuffed and then rusted at some point. And also if you're not ordering from the dealer, which a lot of times I don't because then you have to prime the parts, uh, make sure that it's Kappa certified, which Kappa certified just means that it's uh, a certain standard above aftermarket quality, usually OEM spec. Um, I'm just gonna clean the disgusting steering wheel and shift lever um, because I really don't wanna touch that nasty <laughs> stuff anymore. These are your best friend when detailing an interior. Uh, they're a knockoff of Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I just get them in like a 500 pack from China. So tempted to just keep detailing, but I want to get this thing out of here. And if you're working on something that you know you're not going to get to for days, um, leave the hood on there, even if it is bent. So then, if it rains or anything, then you're keeping all the elements off your motor. So when we took off the AC condenser, uh, I just always put a little baggie or something over the lines and tape it off so then nothing can get back in there while you're waiting to uh, get the new one. Same thing for hoses, uh, like radiator hoses or if you take off anything, like any of these hoses, just put a cap on it so you know nothing's getting inside. That's totally not working. Yep, that's garbage. Garbage. I mean, basically, it's everything garbage. Just papers and piece of papers. And kind of picture. <laughs> Aquario. Like, doesn't even come off.
Yeah, um, that rear seat is probably gonna have to come out and I'll have to pressure wash it down because there's glass shards. Like, I can see on my gloves, little sparkles everywhere. So, no way am I giving that to a customer. Jose is just prepping parts for paint by scuffing up the surface so it creates a mechanical bond with the paint. He knew exactly what I was gonna say, because this is the recycling. He came out and I said, wait, 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 should we? And he looked like he looked like a dog when he knew he was in trouble. <laughs> All the cardboard in there. How much do you need? You need some. You because that's what you lay on. Oh the count? Cardboard in there. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more of the cube action. 